What is up YouTube, it's Bunny Films here, and I haven't done a video in a while, I apologize, I've just been doing finals and stuff for school, but we're here with a tutorial, it is a bit clustered, uh, it, it requires a bunch of different blueprints, so let's get on with it. This is going to be a build that will protect your B-axe, it could be any axe, but none, these lasers have nothing to do with it, They currently they do nothing, like there's just there's nothing back here, it's just lasers. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do a tutorial on that sometime in the future. I just have to figure out what it's going to do. But we're going to be doing a video um, that will secure your BX. So if someone takes it or moves it, like, they get locked in a room. So it's pretty simple. Basically, um, well, let's let's go over what we need. So, um, the first blueprints, they need to match your wall. And this is be um, these all depend on, like, the size of the room. I mean, currently, this is, uh, let's see this we're gonna build uh five six wide or no uh this is eight wide so eight wide and then six long so let's go for the blueprints what we in this you can you might have, you might have changed some things depending on the size of the room so this is this is to fit my room back there and we should also get a light back in oh, hello so let's go over what we need for the walls you need two eight by twos two 8x4s, and two unfilled blueprints that we will later fill to match the wall. And then next you need two doors, doesn't matter the color, I mean, they, they just need to close. And you can make them camouflage in the wall as well if you want to, I don't, these don't, because these are brown, that's like elm. So, next, for the display case for the axe, this can be anything, but I, I highly suggest it's like matching. You need one table, and then four posts, and then one tile. And then I used I used birch wood for this, and then for like the wire and technical stuff, uh, you need one laser, one laser detector right here, and these can be purchased at Link's Logic. You have to ride the ferry there; it's complex. They need one f uh, lever. I was gonna say you need a ferry. You don't need a ferry. And they need five wires. So to begin, you want to grab your. Um, let's go ahead and take the smooth wall that is unfilled, the empty blueprint, and uh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, you can't stand there. Excuse me. Uh, okay, thank you, I guess. Let's hop on back up there. I don't want to have to edit this out. Let's just jump up here and I can make a little hole in the wall. There we go. And let's try the skin. So you want to grab an empty blueprint and you want to probably sit over here. And it's empty because we need to run a wire through it and it works when it's empty. It's just easier than like my, like what I usually do, and I found it more, um, less time consuming. So then you want to take another one and you place it on the other side like this. So there should be an 8x4 here and an 8x4 here, and don't fill them yet. So what you want to next do is, I don't, wait, yeah. So let's take a, uh, yeah, let's take a smooth wall, and I'm going to place this right here. And it can just be two posts, it doesn't matter. I mean, I have the power to build with these, so using two posts would not be um, efficient because, like, one blueprint feel, fills everything. So you can take another 8x2 and you place it right there. So it's going to be the same on both sides, like this. That's what it looks like so far. Take a good look. Catch up if you need any. Or mustard. Oh. So now, you want to take your smooth wall right here. This is the 8x4. And. We're going to try to place it um, so there is about four studs of room for the table to go in. This goes, it's a bit hard to tell. Yeah, it's definitely not it. Let's just move this back. Let's actually try doing the table first. Then we can do these. So let's set that down. And let's grab this square table. And you can get this blueprint at Wood R Us. It's not rare or anything, just on shelf. So yeah, there we go. Now that's where it goes. And we're actually going to build the display case now. So you just want to grab your four post and the tile, and you'll be all set. So there's one post, and there's two. So yeah, guys, I've, I don't even know how many subscribers we're at right now. I need to check, and I'm supposed to be doing a giveaway soon for like 20 million in Lumber Tycoon 2. Wait, no, 10 million, not 20 million, because like a fan donated it. Thank you, Casey Lee. And let's place that there. And then you want to grab the last post and just place it in the corner. So we're going to be giving away $10 million in another video. Don't enter now. 
It's just because like I've been so busy recently. I've trying to get videos out and stuff, but I've just been so busy and yeah, I don't have any good excuses. But let's get the tile now and you want to place it on top right here. There we go. So that's good. So you do need these little spaces here to be open for the laser to go in. And what you want to do, you want to grab these 8x4s and you want to start by building a wall right here or you want to fit it in so the person doesn't see the wires. So they th so and then like if they don't see the wires then they won't think it's trapped and when they do they'll get trapped in the room and then you also can do some sort of alarm system where like a light turns on if there's someone in the room or something cool like that if you do tweet me on twitter at bunnyfilmsyt wait no it's at bunnyfilms1 yeah and then you want to grab another 8x4 and you just want to place it here let's actually go back here can we get this down um there we go so it should look like this so far. So you need these two unfilled blueprints. You need the display case in the middle. There's that little space up there. You can fill out if you want to. I don't really care about it. And then you need it to be like this. So let's squeeze on through. And let's go. Uh, let's. Uh, what should we do? Yeah, let's do the wiring. Wait, no. Wait, yeah. So laser detector, it doesn't matter which size you pla side you place this on. It just matters like as long as you... um align it correctly with the laser like the thing that makes the laser so place that there and you want to grab the laser and then go on to the opposite side of whichever side you placed it on squeeze back here that's a tight squeeze and you just want to place the laser so we placed it about on this level surface of the table so right here maybe yeah matches up so when it matches up let's squeeze out of here you'll notice the little light on the back of the thing is blue now so that's pretty good. Next, uh, what should we do? Yeah, let's do doors. So you want to grab your basic door. You should have two, but if like your room's smaller, then you only need one. You want to grab one and you want to place it right here. And you want to make sure that when it opens, it opens so that like you can grab it from the ins the invisible blueprint. Like if you can't, then you're you're in a bit of trouble. And I'm in a bit of trouble right now. Speaking of trouble, because like I can't get out of here. So let's, I'm going to just squeeze through here and squeeze through here. And I really want to make these lasers to do something pretty cool. So let's close that door and then you want to grab your other door like here or right here. And let's place this, rotate 180 and, oh, wrong place. Place it right here. There we go. And that should, if they do line up and this one lines up with the blueprint, then it should line up on the other side, which is good. So if we open them this side, then you won't get stuck. And you want to grab. Let's do it. Let's actually get the lever. And I don't know if this is very efficient or not, but this is how I've been doing it, and it works. So you want to grab your lever, and you just want to place it behind the laser uh, detector. And it's a bit of a tight squeeze. I might tear down a wall right here. Like this. Place it right here. And let's go grab the lever. And you can move it. And you want to make sure that like the little knob part of it where you connect wires to is facing you and it's not connected to the uh, detector thing. And we might have to move the detector forward once done so we can easily place down the lever because like it's not connecting very well. So yeah, let's 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 move this forward once done and then we can like fit a um a what should we call it? Come on, that's come on. There we go. That's good and grab the lever and it's connected so light is blue and this is a bit ah i don't like these tight spaces because like it's so difficult to place stuff so I, I i'm guessing i'm just tearing down walls i mean i'm just moving them but like yeah so is it gonna get it oh i'm almost gonna fall off oh there we go so this is what it should look like now it's like flipping oh yes yeah, so that's what happens when there's nothing in the way Let's actually take it. Oh, I don't know where I got that. So when you put an X in the way like this, it'll stop flipping like that. Because like the signal is interrupted, so nothing powers the lever. Science. Whoa. So now we're going to actually take all the wires back. Wait, no, no. Yeah. Um, let's actually place some wires back here because it might because we might have some trouble getting out of there until it's finished. So we're going to transfer all five wires to behind the scenes. I'm going to put the walls back because we might have to put some wires on top of them. 
around the sides. Like, come on. There we go. And this final wall right here. Let's rotate that and place it there. There we go. And we have three more wires left. Let's go get those. And we're going to hook them up. And then the alarm system, or it's not an alarm system, like security system thing, will work. And this is actually a pretty cool build. It's pretty simple wiring. Um, if you have any suggestions for builds you want to see built, comment below. I, I do want to do some Christmas ones because this is a great time of year to be building Christmas stuff because like this is like tis the season and if you don't celebrate Christmas happy Hanukkah if you don't do either of those happy holidays so guys good job we've made all the wires put in the back now we want to close all of the doors so you want to put this one there grab this one and place it there so you should be trapped in here now not even able to get out so you want to go ahead and grab a wire and you want to put your camera inside of the wall and how this works wait no actually this is going to be easier let's do it this way so grab your wire and you want to first connect it to the lever put it around the corner like that and then on top of the blueprint like this and it should look like that so next you want to grab your next wire wire number two place it on top of that and it should be inside the blueprint if you aligned it correctly and then that should close so hopefully that is yeah that is connected so now we want to hop over this might be a challenge can we do it yes we can so next <laughs> squeeze through here this is even more tight we want ah dang it we have to squeeze back over here because we have to hook up this wire to the um other thing so place that there we're gonna run this on top I'm gonna squeeze through no, I can't. We go through there. We go. That that worked. So then we want to go place this here. And it depends how many wires you need because you need you need a minimum of four or of five. But if you're building this much closer, then you only need four. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's ah, it's too tight. So let's grab up. Oh, that's a wall. Yeah. I feel like ripping the floor off or the ceiling off above me because but like I don't want to it's just inconvenient so can we squeeze through here wiggle 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 nope come on there we go okay I'm probably gonna get stuck back here forever and if you ever visit my base you'll just see me or you'll hear voices in the walls asking for help probably uh Nah, let's just go on top. Let's get out of here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we just move this door. There we go. That works. And you want to grab your last wire. Can we hop over? Come on. And squeeze through here. There we go. And you you can't place the wire on top of the doorknob because it says nil. And that also happens with some other stuff, I believe. So, yeah, don't do that. So you want to connect the wire first to the this wire here, and then you want to connect it to the doorknob. And it's oh, it's too short. Oh, that's that's a bad issue. There we go. That should be connected now. And let's get out of here now. I'm done with this. So now, uh, let's close this door, and we are going to demonstrate a robber or a robbery. So um, I need like a just pretend I have a ninja mask on. So they found my secret button. They pressed it. They're into my laser maze. What do I do? How do we get through this? And it's like, oh, Bunny is not smart enough. He This does nothing. <gasps> it's a B-X. Let's go get a B-X. And this door is closed, so they can't get through unless they press the button. But they run through. Lasers do nothing. They pick up the axe. <gasps> the doors are closed. And you are stuck here. And you will die. If you add saws. I mean, you need to add saws. But this is pretty cool. So they can't get out either way. Oh, you have to fill these, though. But, like, in a real scenario, these will be filled, and the person will be trapped in here, and they won't be able to get out. And if they reset, um, like, hopefully they don't have your axes. Like, they don't have them whitelisted. Don't whitelist people you don't know. Because it is awful. It's, it's very bad, because they'll, they'll steal everything. So, if you open the door again, you'll notice that it will close shut again. So, what you have to do, you have to put the axe back. So that's another security thing that this is good about. So when you open the doors, they won't close again. 
So we're actually gonna fill these blueprints and then we'll be done with this video. So let's go, oh, the door's closed. Let's go grab this one. There we go, I already have these pre-cut, pre-chopped, fresh out of the sawmill. And we made it back in just in time before the door closed. And there we go guys, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. You can actually put the BX upright like this, but like, yeah. Have a great day, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial or random video. Happy holidays.